Welcome to experiment number 9A, liquid absolute permeability measurement. First, let's understand what's permeability. Permeability of a reservoir is a measure of how much fluid can flow through a rock for a specific pressure drop. Absolute permeability, which is the, measure, the, the permeability that we are going to measure today in this lab, is measured of the ability of the single flow, such as water, gas, or oil, to flow through a rock formation. When the formation is totally filled saturate or saturated with, the, with, the, with that single flow. In petroleum engineering, Darcy's flow equation is used to measure the permeability. This equation is a valid for liminal steady state linear flow in a homogeneous horizontal reservoir. Therefore, the experiment in this lab must meet those requirements. In this experiment, permeability of a liquid, water in this case, will be determined by using core flooding model. The core sample that we are going to put here is 2.5 diameter and the length of the core is 7 uh, 2.5 inches diameter and the length of the core will be 7 inches length and the porosity of our sample is 15 uh, 15% the objective of today's lab is to measure the absolute permeability of water using method based on Darcy's theory and the experiment model the experiment model was designed for this laboratory to measure the liquid absolute permeability the model is comprised of pressurized Hassler cell, cell as a core holder a sandstone core sample valves and pressure gauge to measure the pressure in and out pressure and a screw bomb with a constant flow rate to measure the flow rate coming from the bomb. First, the core was fully saturated with water or brine, as Peter says, the brine with 0.4 weight percent KCL before packing. Brine water is used to saturate the sandstone core to prevent any reaction between water and clay particles inside the core. The length L and the radius R of the core were then measured using caliber. So we use the caliber to measure the length of our core sample and the radius. And as I said, the length of our core sample is 7 inches and the radius will be 1 point two five inch then brine water was used as the injection flow rate for this experiment as as we know the, the liquid data raw liquid or the density of our brine is 1.02 gram per centimeter per cubic centimeter and the mu water or the viscosity of the water is 1.04 centipoise three different flow rates one milliliter per minute two milliliter per minute and three milliliter per minute were applied by using the esco bomb and the stabilized the stabilized pressure is determined each time by using the pressure gauge here from all these data the absolute permeability is calculated use the equation number one in your manual which is basically Darcy equation a Q is equal to K multiplied by A multiplied by that P divided by mu multiplied by L procedure of this experiment is basically first we measure the dimension of the core sample L and the radius R using the caliber and ruler number two open the pressure requisition software and then calibrate the pressure sensors. Number three, make sure all aberts is tightly connected, otherwise you might have leak and that will lead us in the inaccurate 
measurement. Number four, start the pump with the lowest flow rate, which is one milliliter per minute. Then monitor and record the pressure when it's stabilized at the, at the pressure at the beginning and the pressure at the end of our, uh, of our uh, core holder. Uh, then whenever the pressure is stabilized, we will record P1 and P2. Then number five, repeat step number four with different flow rates, which is flow rate number two, uh, flow rate, which is point, uh, two, point, uh, two, two milliliter per minute and three milliliter per minute. And then record the stabilized pressure. And finally, use the data to calculate the permeability. Pay close attention to the units because you need to use Darcy units in this measurement. So convert the units that you need to convert. Then the other note that we have to pay attention to is that P2 is op open to the flow. And basically at this P2 supposed to be standard pressure or atmosphere pressure. Then what you will do, you'll be creating plot between Q divided by A at the Y axis and delta B divided by L at the X axis. Determine the permeability K from the slope of that plot.